A Weymouth apartment building still smoldering tonight. Firefighters are on that scene well after the fire started overnight. The fire chief thinks that the building is a total loss. The complex was under construction, and that's prompting the state to take a second look at the building codes. WBZ's Bill Shields is live tonight in Weymouth with more on that. Bill? Liam, you can see the building right in back of me here. That's 50 units that are destroyed. And right next to it, you'll see another one going up. Same construction, wood frame construction. Now, obviously, wood frame, that's fuel for fire. However, it's a standard throughout the United States to use wood frame construction, but it burns quickly. We believe it started on the right side of the building. Within minutes, the fire was racing through this 50 unit apartment building. We ran across the attic and we basically burnt the roof off. It's just getting into the sea of the fire now where it started so we can stop all the hot spots. Firefighters were up against it. The apartments are wood frames, so there was a lot of fuel. And because they weren't occupied yet, no functioning sprinkler system. The sprinklers didn't keep it in check, so you know, by the time we get here and set up, these are master stream appliances, a lot of water being flowed, so it just takes time. Wood frame construction is standard these days. That's been allowed for at least 10 years in all parts of the country. Jay Duca is Quincy's building inspector, and he's been keeping a close eye on this massive apartment building being built at Crown Colony. But in Quincy, they've added restrictions to big projects. We require a 24-hour security on these large sites. Uh, no storage of combustibles, no welding without a fire watch. This apartment building in Weymouth was wood frame. So, too, the one on Dorchester Avenue that burned several weeks ago, and the one in Waltham. But wood framing is standard these days. They're structurally sound, uh, although they're susceptible to uh, fire events uh, during construction. We're back live now, and you can see they're still pouring water on this particular building now. They've still got a couple little hot spots in there. But the question becomes whether or not the state building code, which oversees all of this whether that state code needs to be altered or changed but the metal framing is cost prohibitive reporting live in weymouth i'm bill shields wbz news